All right, guys, make a quick video. Normally, I do stuff in my car, my truck, but uh, I don't see any videos for this particular ski. This is a 2010 um, GTX 155. It's not the turbo. Um, doing a shaft upgrade and everything on this thing. If you guys know, if you watch plenty of videos on the, I believe it on 09, they did it, and then 10, they went to these screw ons. Um, had a big problem in 11 and 12 and, and so on. They went back to the upgraded shaft. I have most of the parts. Or really, everything's installed. So hopefully you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I want to show you a quick trick. Um, yeah, you could buy the tool for $200. I think it was $150 and use it for 25 minutes. But anyway, this is the old shaft. But I'm glad I did the upgrade because I found that. So it's probably out of balance and it'll probably be done by the end of the summer. But anyway, got the 11 shaft, um, got the new butt plug, whatever, the bumper stop, whatever it is. Everything's installed, but I want to show you what I did. Instead of buying the tool, it's, it's easy. I used the ratchet strap to hold the bar. I went to Lowe's. I got this square piece of stock right here as a, you know, leverage. Went to the hardware, I mean, I'm sorry, the auto parts store and got this uh, ball joint separator. And you could see from the old one because this actually this lip is the same as the slide back one but you can see I'm trying to hold the phone but anyway i put the tape here so it doesn't go too far down when i did it but you could see basically what i did what i did was i drilled a little hole here i got some rod um i don't know where it went to uh, wow all right, can't find the rod. Anyway, cut a little piece of rod. Oh, here's the cutoff. Ugh. I just basically, I think it was like six inches. I basically stuck it in the hole there. So as you can see, obviously think of it standing up and then I cut a little piece and I just lean the little piece against the block. And basically, it's gonna be in this motion here. You kinda, push forward I was holding it with the uh, ratchet strap um, it holds the bellows back and that clip fell I mean I could see the groove it fell right in and I took it off um, it's such a pain in the ass I'm a big guy but basically I had to reach my hand from all the way in there and then reach inside and then what I did was because you don't want your shaft to move basically took this plastic tube and again, this is a cell phone, so sorry. Anyway, I got it pretty much centered. I have it sitting on a box. I have all my hardware here. But sitting on a box to here, and then basically just cut a notch, and then held it with a ratchet strap. And I'll show you that in a second here, because it's done. So basically what I did was, I drilled a carriage bolt, put a carriage bolt through, shoved a shitload of paper towels in there so it doesn't, mess up the shaft and as you can see try to move it here suckers in if that clip wasn't right I think we'll come right out but anyway just a quick video I hope that helps you guys out got any questions I'm not a jet ski professional I work on cars but um, they were gonna charge me three hundred dollars the guy actually had my ski for three weeks I picked it up and I got a total of I don't know, two hours into it right now. And maybe $20 of hardware from Lowe's that, I mean, I can't bring it back, but oh well. It's better than buying a tool that you're going to use one time. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.